Welcome guys to ProTouch HD and today I want to show you guys how to export in high quality in Adobe Photoshop. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do after creating your high quality image or whatever you are making on Photoshop. So what you first want to do actually is go to file, go to export and save for web legacy. Now, after we're done saving for web legacy and all that, there's actually an extra step that I like doing to ensure good quality while the file goes under compression. Let's say if you're posting it to Twitter or something. OK, so make sure it is set to PNG 24. Make sure you do select transparency so you can see, you know, all that transparent stuff, whatnot. You can select um, monitor color or Internet RGB preview. So I'm just going to select Internet. So. You can actually see what it'll look like if it were to reach the Internet. So no color management, none of that, just Internet. OK, so you don't want to rescale this image. So I'm in this case, this is a Twitter header. So this is going to be 3000 by 1000 and make sure this is set to 100 percent. Make sure this is set to biocubic smoother or you can go sharper. In this case, I'm going to go sharper because I want that image to look really sharp when it goes to Twitter or wherever you're in this case, wherever you're actually going to upload it. OK, so now click save, um, go to desktop and I'm just going to save this as yep PNG. So just choose any of that. Select save. Now Photoshop, what it's actually doing right now is basically it's kind of like basically, you know how when you use video editor and it renders when you're all done. That's what Photoshop is doing. It's kind of like rendering the image out. So when it's all done, it's going to close out. You just want to exit out of Photoshop here or yes. So now we're, what we're going to do, we're going to open um, the image we just saved. So the image that we just rendered out, we're going to open that. OK, with Photoshop. So now that that's open, we have it here. So now you want to click this right here. Convert the image to a smart art object. So we can actually do some filters. So now click filter, select other and select high pass. Now this is a tricky part. OK, so this basically we're going to be making the image look a lot sharper. So when it undergoes compression under um, Twitter or something, when you're going to upload it, it doesn't really affect it as much. Now, there's obviously going to be still a little bit of blur distortion. But yeah, so you just want to set this so it kind of looks a little, you know, so um, you see these shadows and stuff around here. You want it to kind of like wrap around um, some of your imaging. So if you don't see it like wrap around like like that or something like that. So if you don't see it like that then it's not detecting it. But um, in this case, um, so like so that is good enough. So if it looks around like this, but don't increase it too much in this case to increase it by about 10. OK, so click OK. So now look what it has here. OK, so now what you're going to do is click this. OK, so double click that. So now select the mode and we're going to set this to an overlay. So now there it is. Now you're probably not going to notice anything different about this. So but now what we're going to do is go to filter. Go to sharpen and go to unsharp mask. OK, so here it is. OK, so now we're going to you can basically look at it. You can so just look at the image while you're um, actually increasing this a little bit. So if you want some things to pop out like this, add radius to it, you want colors and all that, whatnot, then yeah, actually do that. But don't increase this by too much or you're going to really affect the image a lot. So in this case, I'm just going to move this to the side so I can actually see the whole image. Well, I de increase and decrease this. So I'm going to add some light. So I'm going to just increase the amount. You know, if you keep on messing with this, it's going to basically change the whole image. Now I'm going to decrease that amount a little bit to around right here. Now don't increase the threshold. I'm just going to leave the threshold as is. So after all of that, I'm just going to click OK. And now the image is basically set. Now, since my background is black, I just like to set the opacity to about 99%, just like so. So now we can go and export it again. So basically what I just did was we were going to make the this made the image sharper and a lot much better. So when let's say you go and upload once again to Twitter or YouTube, it goes under high compression and this will basically um, make the image look better after the compression. So you see this now it looks weird, but when it actually 
is all rendered out, you're going to actually see it. So leave it on BioCubic Sharper. All of these settings should, still should be set. So click Save. We're going to just click um, e Save and it is done. So now what you can do is go to the desktop, check on your image, upload your image straight to your Twitter, your whatever you're doing, social media design, any of that. And now the image will look a lot sharper and it will be actually really noticeable when you actually go and upload it. So basically that was it. This was ProTuts HD guys. I'm signing out.